How to rationalise the denominator. To start off with, let's look at simple fractions where the bottom is just one root. So here we've got 4 over root 5. Okay, the bottom number is a root, it's irrational, we want to make it into a rational number. So when you're faced with one like this, what we simply do is times top and bottom by the root that's already on the denominator. So in this example, we're going to times top and bottom by root 5. Okay, we do this because root 5 times by root 5 just gives us 5. So we end up with 4 root 5 over 5. This is the exact same number. If you change it into decimal format, it would look exactly the same. But now we've got a denominator that is a rational number. Sometimes it'll be much easier to rationalize the denominator if we first simplify it. In this example, we've got 3 over root 12. And root 12 is equal to root 3 times root 4. We've done this because root 4 is equal to 2. So we can simplify 3 over root 12 to 3 over 2 root 3. Now we haven't rationalized the denominator yet, there's still that root 3 there, but the method we're going to use is very similar to the last one. We're simply going to times top and bottom by root 3. Doing this we get 3 root 3 on the top, on the bottom we've got the 2, and the 2 root 3 is multiplied together to give another 3. Well we've got 3 top and bottom, so they'll cancel out to give us root 3 over 2. The denominator is now a rational number. Sometimes you might need to rationalise the denominator on a more complicated fraction, such as this one, 11 over 5 minus root 3. In this example, we can't just times top and bottom by root 3, because we'd still end up with a 5 root 3 on the bottom, so it's not very helpful. What we do instead, we consider something called the conjugate of the denominator. So here we've got 5 minus root 3. The conjugate just switches that minus to a plus for 5 plus root 3. And we're going to times top and bottom by this conjugate, like this. If we do that, top is nice and simple, we just have 11 lots of 5 plus root 3. But on the bottom, because we've got 5 minus root 3 times 5 plus root 3, we can use the difference of squares rule, which gives us 5 squared minus root 3 squared. If you wonder where this has come from, try multiplying those two brackets together and expanding yourself and see what you get. Following through our working, 5 squared minus root 3 squared gives us 22. So we've ended up with 11 lots of 5 plus root 3 all over 22, which we can simplify to give us 5 plus root 3 over 2. Let's try that method again. So our new fraction is 4 over root 5 plus 2. So again, we've got the same issue. On the bottom of the fraction, we've got a root and a whole number added together. So we need to use our conjugate. This is root 5 plus 2, so our conjugate is root 5 minus 2. And we're going to times top and bottom by this. So on the top, we've got 4 lots of root 5 minus 2. On the bottom, we've got the square of root 5 minus the square of 2. So 5 minus 4 is 1, giving us an answer of 4 lots of root 5 minus 2.